Hello. How are Hello, you? teacher. Hi. New look, teacher. Mm, new look. <laughs> new look today. It's nice. Nice. Thank you. How are you? Ready? Yes, ready, teacher. Excellent. You finish working today? Yes, I'm ready. So, so. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because it's it's difficult to be working until late, right? Yes, very difficult. But, but this is entertaining. Yeah. You'd entertain. Yes. Like that, you don't, you don't feel the time, right? Exactly. Good. Good, good. <clears throat> We're going to see how many. How many people come soon? Mm -hmm. How many people? Seven. Okay. We can start. We are the last ones in the list. Okay. Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria. No here. Adriana Sofia. Okay, Ana. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie Jonathan. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Nice. Felix. Felix Enrique, Grace Michelle, Yvonne, Yvonne Marcela, Jennifer, Jose Alberto, Jose Alfredo, Jose Alfredo, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario, yeah. Nubia Zulema, Nubia, no Nubia, Rebeca, Rosa Hilda, present teacher, Victor, Claudia Guadalupe, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hi, hi, Rebecca. Hi. Okay. Anybody else enter after I call you? Me, teacher. Adriana Sofía. Sofía, okay. Anybody else? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Anybody else? No more. 
pouquinho. Ótimo. Well, today we are going to be talking about transportation, right? Recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of a product. Okay, I'm going to share. Mm -hmm. Okay, remember, uh, yesterday some of you were missing, right? To share. So we're going to listen to you before we move. And this is the objective for today to recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of a national, of a national product. Mm -hmm. Okay. How can you recognize the components of a place and promotion strategy for national product? That's what you're going to, to learn today. And you're going to be working on that later on, right? Okay. But we have a couple of people who were missing to cheer. Who was going to cheer about LG? LG? Me. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're in <laughs> I have LG Smart TV is fast enough. LG brand are dependable enough. Mm, that's it. That's a look at them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. What about Sony? Sony, Sony. Sony, Sony uh, experience, experience no was innovate enough to que se, se me olvidó dice que no no lo notamos <laughs> qué pasó okay ajá uh -huh. what do you remember Let me, uh, okay, let, let me see. Sonic Xperia uh, este. don't innovate. That's an innovate. No. To keep the market. Um, Mm -hmm. The market piece. The market. Okay. iPhone. Who was the iPhone? Uh, me. Okay. Tell us. I don't have enough money to buy an iPhone. Um, iPhone is too expensive for getting it. I don't like the iPhone brand because it's too heavy. Okay, very good, thank you. What about Samsung? Samsung has too many competitors in the market. We see in the high quality cell phones are too expensive, the cell phone. Okay, very good. Excellent. Nice. You see, you were putting into practice the structure, right? Now, let's talk about a 
strategies, right? Go to this vocabulary, check the expressions, and check the meanings. You have product design, after sales services, brand, features, and product positioning. Okay? Match the words with the, with the definitions, and then we will check together. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to see and for you to match. And then we check. Who's J? J J. Who's J? No here. No here. Jennifer. Even that. Okay, let me know when you're finished. Mm -hmm. Ready? Are you ready? Yes. 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 Almost. Oh. Almost done. Yes, I'm yes. Oh. Hmm? Yes or, or almost? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Hmm? You're done? I think. Okay. Vamos a vamos a ver. Ok. Product design. Product design. Características de tu producto que describe. No, I think the process of creating an image of a product. Es uh -huh. product design. I think. Uh -huh. Yes, just the, just the image. So, yeah. Okay. So it will be next. After sale, mm -hmm. uh, after sale services, 
The help and information that is provided to the customer after the account a particular product. Okay. Brand. The use of a name, term or symbol. Mm -hmm. Or sign to give a product a unique identity in the marketplace. Okay. That is a brand. And number, uh, well, features. Characteristic. Uh-huh. Well, that describes the appearance, component, and capability. And the capability. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's number four. And the product positioning. To create a new product to be sold by a business to its customer. No, right. No, the product positioning is where you put the number three. The use of a name, term, symbol to give a product a unique identity. Maybe it could be the first. No, I think that is number three. Mm -hmm. that, uh, which I don't know if it's like uh, I think that is number two. Okay, so which was the product the, position? Yes. The, the second use, one. The second one. The use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product? <clears throat> this is brand. That's brand, right? Number one. Term. Number one. The process of creating an image of a product in the minds of the customer. Right. The first one is product positioning. And the second one is brand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the product positioning. Because it's not just the creating of an image, but creating the image in the mind of the customers. Right? So here the idea is to put that image in the mind of the people, right? So they remember about your product. Uh, and sometimes even the, the message, right? Or the slogan that the company creates for a, for a product. It helps in this product positioning because you put that message or that slogan and that image in the mind of people. So if not, you will see children, right? You go to the supermarket and you listen to a child saying, mira, mama, and they mention any, any cartoon, right? That they, uh, that they recognize because the products are using those uh, as mascots, right? And the mascots are... Yeah. You know what is a mascot? Yeah. What is a mascot? No, I don't know. What is okay. a mascot? Is that a can pet? Be, um, it's not a pet because that can be. <laughs> yeah, my cat. Right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mascot can be whatever a thing can be. For example, Micheli is a, is a, is a, it's como tipo llanta, right? A pizza Hut, you have Pizza Push, that is the mascot. And they have a, a purple cat too, that is very bad with the dog. A, if you see Kellogg's, they have the tiger. What is the name of the tiger? Do you remember? Of Kellos? Sure. A little sure or no? No. no. Superitas. No, no, no. The name of the tiger. Tony. 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 Tony, Tony, Tony Tiger. Exactly. Tony the tiger. the tiger. Yes. So imagine that in some countries in Asia, right? They said, come on. No, 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 no. Because the mascots were being 
well, are part, right, of the selling. And they said, no, 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 no. Let's take out the mascots from products for children because the children get crazy with the mascot and then the people are not paying attention if the product is good, if the product is healthy or nothing else, but to the mascot because the children get so identified with the mascot. So that's the image, right? That image that goes into the people's mind. And you see Tony and you say, Kelos. I remember a friend that used to tell me, I don't buy a products with, with a images of Disney, for example. I don't want my daughter to get accustomed to that. Because later on, these products are more expensive and she will be asking for that same product all the time. So, uh -uh. And that is the image, right? The mascot. That's intelligent. Mm -hmm. That's intelligent. Yeah, but, but she went to that conclusion, right? After observing other children getting crazy with the mascots. And that is the image that goes in the people's mind can be the logo can be but mostly the, the mascot right that that picture that is very attractive to the eye that has very nice colors and it's what you remember right but as i said the image doesn't have to be just a something physical that I can touch, can be also a message. For example, if we say, hot and ready, what comes to your mind? Peter Caesar. Uh -huh. tell me, tell me. pizza, you say? Huh? Oh? Ogle pizza, you say? Yeah. Tell me, tell me another uh, message that you remember. That a product that you watch it on television and then you say, all, like, all you can eat. All you can eat. That's Papa Jones. No? Okay. Another one? El Mero Mero. What is it? El Chero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see, if you if you listen to something, right, or just the ringtone of the music that they use in, to commercialize or to advertise that product, that is kept on your mind. If you listen to what comes to your mind. Imagine you're opening a, a la, lata, right? A can, or you open, but yeah, mostly a can. And you, and you listen to, yeah, the, 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 the gas going out. You said, ah. for example, when where I work, my partner said, ah, sonido a cielo, right? Because they identify themselves and they identify Coca-Cola with the sound, right? Probably it's not the only soda that makes that sound, but it's the, like the most familiar. And it, it, and it has gone here, right? And that's the purpose of product positioning, to keep or to create an image of the product in the people's mind. So if you say, I'm going to buy beans, and you immediately... Imagine the name or the brand or the logo or the whatever that represents the product that you buy, right? And that is part of the position. Okay. And let's see. Number one will be then to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers, right? That will, that will be to number one. And as we say, the brand... Uh, remember, we we always, uh, as part of the brand, if you see this, what do you think? 
Nike. Oh, Nike. Where <laughs> So you can have, or, or you listen to the name or just a symbol, right? Or a logo representing that brand. Hola, raíz cuadrada de. Ah, yeah, this one. <laughs> yeah. But then it has to be like this. Okay, so yeah, you can, you know, and you identify the product and, and the brand is unique, right? You cannot cheat that brand. What happens when a person or a company uses a name or a brand that already exists? What happens? Mm -hmm. who, who wants to tell me? What happens when a company uses a brand that already exists? They will get a demand. Definitely, they get a demand, right? They get a demand. Why? Because maybe they are using a, a, a brand of a famous company and that to, to get a, that a customer to him. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly. So, can I use a name, a logo? the ringtone of another product that already exists without asking that company if I can use them? No. No. Definitely. I cannot. Why? What happens if I do it? I have to pay, right? Or if I don't pay, I can be demanded. And if I am demanded, I have to pay more. <laughs> I remember uh, there was a famous, uh, how can we say? But these girls that are uh, moving that thing of the fashion, right? They are very famous. And they were using a name that they, for them, it sounded good, but they didn't notice that that name existed uh, yeah, on the other side of the world and they used it. But as they are very famous, okay, if I use this product here in El Salvador, as I'm not famous, probably nobody will know, right? But as they were very famous on television and the media and everything and everywhere, eh, they were demanding and they had to take off the product to withdraw the product, right? They had to withdraw the product because they couldn't sell it with a name. Imagine, and having all the product already manufactured, but they didn't notice at the beginning. Until all the product was manufactured, they noticed that they were using the name of a product that already existed allá in China. Imagine. And then the Chinese said, you cannot use it. If you use it, you pay, right? But you cannot use it because it already exists and we have the rights of the name. So when you get a product, you have you get the rights, not just of the product, right? But of all the characteristics, the appearance, the components, the name, the logo, the symbol, everything, right? So because when that keeps in people's minds, people will not be thinking about the products, right? They will be thinking about one. That's why it is so important. Okay. Well, let's move. Any questions here? Questions? No, teacher. Okay, look at this. 
can you make or establish the relationship between these works gasoline business? Remember yesterday we were saying why when the gas gets expensive, everything gets expensive. Why when there is a war on the other side of the world, why it affects me, right? Okay, so here we have a relationship between gas and business, transportation and prices, location of competitor store, location of our store, quality, price. We will mention a little bit about that yesterday. Competition and prices. We can also say the demand and prices, too, right? That's another thing. Okay, I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to work in pairs and think, right, about the relationship. What is the relationship between these products? I'm going to paste it in the chat. You discuss. And then you become, oh, my, oh. my WhatsApp is closed. Let's give a minute for it to charge. But check what you're going to do in your groups is discuss their relationship and give me examples, right? So adapt it to the reality. Uh, so you can see, uh, there we go. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Okay. According to the reality, what uh, you can give me examples using this? Let's see. Oh, we are 15. I'm going to make groups of three. There we go. Ready? Questions? No questions? No questions. No. no. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Jose Alfredo is coming. to join. Jennifer, Elsa, Christina, Carla, Lorena, Mario. Try to join. Check, check, check. Me dicen si no les aparece la llamadita. Hi, Grace. I'm sending you to a room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carlita, hello. Hi, hi. Nobody here. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, teacher. Mire, creo que me puede dar tiempo porque estoy terminando de entrenar. Okay. Y Claudia, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. I'm in traffic. No, todavía no he llegado a mi casa, teacher. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. ¿Cómo vamos? Very good. Ok. Ok. 
okay. relationship between the following words. Uh, gasoline business. Uh, for business, this is the, the business. Um, it's good to know when the gasoline is increased because they gain profit and make a, a lot of profit uh, for their business. But uh, people that use the gasoline, uh, they pay uh, more for buying this product. Very expensive for all of us. But for business, uh, they make a uh, profit. Okay. For transportation so, prices? For me, uh, the gasoline and business are relation are related are related and because uh, everybody move on uh, about the gasoline so the fabrics uh, use gasoline for or energy or thing like that so uh, like I say everybody move on the gasoline so that is for me the relationship between the gasoline and the business. The next yeah. transportation and prices. Um, could be here. The could be here the transportation the price. Um, I don't know. I think Maybe. this is gonna. Is gasoline is relation with transportation and prices. This product of uh, the gasoline, uh, it's there is a, 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 a direct relation uh, from transportation price to price um, because. You said uh, we need to move for many places, for all of kind of place, and we need to transport transport in the prices. Uh, if the government uh, don't uh, is don't uh, don't do some regulation for the country, the prices, it must be or it can be uh, increased. So for me, my idea is that uh, the prices, but the prices, we are talking about the prices of a product. So the prices a product are relationship or sorry, are related with the transportation because uh, there are the principal uh, provider of logistics for supply uh, all their product mm -hmm. For supplier all, all their product, for example, when they import mercancy, uh, they need a uh, transport the mercancy from the port to the I don't know the warehouse to the airport from the airport no. to the warehouse. Yeah, or oh, airport or the or port. To the water house. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
important fight. Yeah, but where? What is that? In the chat. Oh, what's up, chat? Yes. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Teacher, I uh, have a question. Mario say canasta básica in English? Canasta básica. Mm -hmm. mm. Ya vamos a ver cómo se dice canasta básica. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Oh. Gasoline business. Transportation price, location of competitive store. Location of our stores. Basic, pero no dice basic, pero no. No, the teacher. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> About quality, I think that uh, established between. Oh, the Nokes hacer una relación. The basic the market basket. The basic market basket. Uh -huh. Basic market basket. Sí. Okay. El que me right. suena muy <laughs> A mí me suena raro eso. Sí, uh -huh. pero ajá, es el que me suena como más. A ver qué dice el Collins. Um, Collins no sabe de canastas básicas, solo de canastas para basura. Pero ¿cómo le puedo decir a eso? Básico. Uh, um, a los la, a la, no. elementos que son de primera fila, lo que son lo que... Eh, Ser. Primera necesidad. Ajá, de primera necesidad. Oh, vaya, porque, por ejemplo, si cuando hablamos de comida, esos son los daily products. Los que usted daily ocupa, products. Daily products son los que ocupa para, para transformarlos en plato, vea. Sí, ¿por qué no? Miren, no existe. Los daily products son los que se convierten en comida. Daily. Daily, de, 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 como si fuera diario. Daily. Ah, daily, daily product. As rice, beans. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Oil. Bread. bread sí. Butter. Bread, butter. Oil. Fish. The milk. Chicken milk. Okay. Eh, eso sería, yo creo que eso sería. Sí, sí. sí. Uh -huh. daily, es que las daily. otras se sienten como demasiado literales, vea. Mm -hmm. Daily yeah. Dice basic basket y ese sí definitivamente no. Sí, sí. Daily, daily product. Daily product. Daily. 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 This is the price of uh, gas, the gas. It is uh, focuses in the country, uh, in the countries that has more power, like uh, uh, Russia, uh, what? what? Nada con nosotros. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Um, transportation price. Uh, if you know, if we see uh, the the price of the transportation uh, comes with the price of a gas. Uh, uh, the people 
no import that she is Chinese or uh, American. That the product is good, uh, low prices, that people uh, ship the products, no? Yes, then the, the example, the discussion is similar on the number three. Mm -hmm. The location is to find the most strategic place yes. mm -hmm. of sale. influx of people. Excuse me? The strategic place of influx of people. Eh, yo busqué que es influencia, afluencia, perdón, y me uh -huh. tiró eso, que no está bien escrito. Afluencia de personas. Uh -huh. O no sé si hay otra palabra para sustituir. Pero me alegre. Aflu yeah. Afluencia, it means. ¿Cómo? Influx, ajá. It's okay, I think. Okay. The relationship and the location is to find the most strategic place of influx of people. Mm -hmm. The number four, I think the quality, the, the relation, the rela relationship between relationship, the price. Yes, is the quality and more quality, more price because it's uh, the relation, the durabi du durability. Durability, uh -huh. Yes. Okay. A so, warranty, for example. Yes. Warranty, durability. Mm -hmm. Comfort. Mm, maybe comfort, yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes. Okay. I think mm, maybe different business value the gasoline because it's important to 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 grow the maybe the transportation i don't know um about the transportation and price mm -hmm. um hmm. So the, when we are talking uh, about the locations of the competitors. And I was saying to Rebecca that this location uh, will, will give you an advantage from, uh, to your competitors if you are closer uh, to your customers than the other. So this uh, could affect or uh, benefit the transportation prices too. Okay. And the quality and price? Mm -hmm. We are talking about this yesterday with the freeze that we seen, that we saw of you get what you pay for. If you, if you pay quality, you obtain quality. If you prefer low prices, maybe you don't get a good quality. For me, I prefer quality. Oh, so the quality could increase or decrease the price of your product or yes. for your service.
Okay. I'm sure for most everybody here. Yes. Okay, what is the relationship between gasoline and business? Mm -hmm. When increase the cost of gasoline, the products in the uh, in the companies uh high the cost in the product because of the transportation mm -hmm. as everybody has to be transported right every product that we are going to use if we're talking about uh, foods it has to be transported right the shipping mm -hmm. if you're talking about any other product the same the shipping. So, what about transportation and prices? Mm -hmm. Well, I think that the relation of this is that uh, how far are you of the, the market where you are going to sell the, the product? For example, uh, I work in a pharmacy, so uh, maybe uh, our market is in hospital and clinics. So we are going to look looking for a good location that has near hospital to to have a low low cost of transportation of our product. Okay. What about location of competitor store and location of our store? Mm -hmm. The location of my competitor store and my store. <laughs> Who wants to cheer? Okay, tell me then how about quality and price? The location. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, I don't know if I relate it, but I think that the location is the most important factor uh, for you, a strategy of uh, marketing has been exit or successful because if you have a good location, uh, your sales uh, could be uh, going better and better and better. Okay, uh, some things coming to my mind. I don't know if you have noticed, uh, there are some places, some mini malls that are open here in the, in the country that they invest a lot in the building and the buildings are beautiful but nobody gets there right and it's because of that the location there is a business uh, near i live where i live, that people have tried to sell there have been different uh, types of business that have gone to that place, but they always stay there like uh, three months and then they leave. And it stays long time alone, right? The building, it's right in a corner. It is. It stays there alone for a lot of time. Then somebody comes, rents it, puts a business there, it lasts three months and then it has no success and these people go away and the building is again alone for such a long time. Another business comes, but they, they don't work or they don't function. And it's because sometimes in the location, right? 
And, and the people who get there, they may say, but why the business on the other side of the street or on the other corner functions and why mine not? What do you think? What things should you keep into account? The, the, the place of the location is very important, right? That people are passing there a lot. That's one thing. But what else is it necessary to take space. into consideration? Hmm? Space, parking space. Exactly. If there is not enough parking space, people will not get there, right? People will not get there because they want to park their car, they want to enter the business, have food or buy whatever they sell. And then you know that the car is in a safe place, right? Not in the street abandoned. So that is very important. The location should have enough space, should be comfortable, be in the right uh, place, we can say but also should have a parking space. Okay, mm, what's the relationship between quality and price? Quality and price. Uh -huh. Remember we were talking about that yesterday? You get what you pay for, right? Let's go to competition and prices. Teacher. How does the competition affect the price of a product? Teacher, eh, me escucha. Yes, Claudia. <laughs> Yo siempre tengo problemas, excuse me. Eh, and the quality prices, the eh, customer can choose to the quality prices if you want cheap prices in a short time o o la calidad no sé quality. you have to sacrifice quality exactly if you want something cheap you sacrifice quality definitely definitely Claudita I agree with you and how does the competition affect the prices how Go lower the prices. Mm -hmm. I remember last, like last week, I guess it was, we were talking about Claro. When now Claro, right? Before it had another name. When they were alone, they had no competition. The getting a telephone was very difficult and was very expensive. When they te make telecom. Telecom. But before they had another name, before telecom. Until. Until, yes. <laughs> okay. So when they oh, were, they were until, yeah, they had no competition and just the new generations don't know those names, right? <laughs> so when they were until, they had no competition. And then as they had no competition, they could put the prices they wanted and they could take the time they wanted to give a service, right? But now they are offering you the service everywhere. And when your contract finishes, they call you, right? Offering you a better service. Uh, so you continue with them because they know that you can go with any other company and the price is lower. For example, in my case, I pay $38 for my internet uh, cable and telephone right? $38. Before, I had 20 megas, the same cable with less uh, channels, 
always the telephone, but, but the internet was 20 megas, right? And I paid the same amount, $38. And we were thinking about going and changing the plan because everybody working at home, it was like, oops, 20 megas is not enough. But then the contract got to the end and I had a notice. And I got a call, I got an email, I got a message and they offering me something. They say 30 megas and we will give you for $40. And I was like, oh, well, that's okay. But then I received another call and another message. And, and we said, ah, yeah, we will go, we will go, we will see, we will do it. And we never did it. Another three months passed and then they offered me 40 megas right and more channels that i don't see because many of them are music others are sports i don't watch sports i don't watch music <laughs> so i don't use them but they have a lot of many more channels and they go it's a plan where they change the plan the, 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 ah, and the claro video too right and they change the, the channels as they wish so i have no problem with that and the capacity that they are offering now is better. That is because of this, right? Because of the competition. Then as the competition increased, the prices had to lower. So that relation goes like this. Competition increases, prices lower. Ga gasoline increases. Business, what happens to the business? Hmm? They can increase to the right? transportation increases, prices increase too. If my competitor store is better than mine, my sales lower. If the quality is good, the price is higher. Right? So you see, in some cases, it's the opposite, right? But in others, they go like, if the gasoline increases, the business, we can go in the other direction. The business have problems and then they, they get less, uh, less profit because they are expending, they are spending more in gas. And if they don't want to pass that price to the customer, they are absorbing that and they will have less profit. So it will depend, right, on what's the case. Okay. Teacher, well, yes, tell me. One, one question. Tell In the me. number five competition and price, mm -hmm. uh, I think the relationship is the broad image and reputation. Yes. It's, it's okay? Yes. Your, your reputation is very important. Remember, uh, I guess it was last course, right? That we were talking about that. That if you have a bad experience or if your product goes wrong or because of the customer service is terrible, you or because there was an accident with your product, your reputation can be uh, affected, right? Or the competition can try to affect your reputation too, or can try to affect you. But the thing is this: if there are no competitors, I can put the price I want it. I have nobody to compete, right? The customers will come and will buy my product because I'm the only one. But if there are more people, imagine now we have okay, the Claro, Tigo, Movistar, Digicel, and there are some other companies that are Salnet. I don't know, Happy, I guess Happy is back. And there are other uh, companies offering internet it's not just, it's not only Claro now, right? So as they have more competition, 
the most competition appears, the lower the prices go. Because it's not the same that I'm the only one selling uh, internet, then I have Happy, Salnet, and others uh, selling internet, right? Hoy que andan unos ahí que por fibra de fibra óptica y no sé qué. So there are many, many uh, offering internet. There are many offering uh, cable and telephones, no se diga, right? So there is a lot of competition. And as there is competition, the prices lower because I want to continue competing. I want to continue being an option. And if I want to continue being an option, I have to lower my price because the others are lowering their prices and then the prices go like this. If you see, if you go compare internet of Tigo and Claro, they are almost, almost the same price. Sometimes one is more expensive than the other, but they are like this. Right, because they want to continue uh, keeping their market. If no people, sometimes they are with Tigo and then they go with Claro and then they come back to Tigo and they go back to Claro. So they are, they are like that. And that's the relationship. The most competition, the lowest the price. If no buyer, what happens when a uh, for example, in the market, they know there will be a lack of a product. There are some companies that, of course, that is against the law, right? But there are some companies that they attract all the product, they buy all the product, and they hide it. They keep it. So later on, when nobody has, they take it out and they sell it very expensive because they don't have competition, because they have all the product and they perfectly know that. Mm -hmm. How do you call that? I don't remember the word. Uh, it's somewhere mm -hmm. here in my mind. Another example, teacher, mm -hmm. is the, the brown shoes. Is the Nike versus Magico My Bracos, for example? The two brothers. The two yeah. brothers, right? The two brothers that they were working in the shoes and they were improving, you know, suddenly they, they became enemies, but the two of them continued working. And the two are very good brands and they continue competing one against the other one. But I prefer Adidas anyway. <laughs> Yes, so they they continue uh, competing one another. So that is that is a relationship between a competition and price. Okay, let's go check. Remember, in the in the in the objective of the class, we said to recognize the components of the place and promotion, right? Strategies of a national product. And right now we go to see what's the place. What is the definition that we make it for place? Who wants to read? Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, me. Yes, <laughs> me. Adriana. <laughs> okay. Okay, Adriana. Okay. 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 I was looking who's talking. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, go ahead. Pre okay. Place refers to where and how people buy your product. Some examples of places consumers can buy products and service include online via and web browser through a smartphone app retail locations, through trade shows or events, through marketplace channels like Amazon or Walmart, mm -hmm. or through a, sal a sales professional. Yes. So you can go to the store. Uh, we can say a physics store, right? Or 
you can use uh, an online buyer, whatever, it can be a, a web browser, uh, an app. Now we have a, lo a lot of apps that we can use for shopping, right? And they say, if you buy a churrito, we send you the product. You will pay only 50 cents for receiving your product at home. Then you say, okay, let's buy a churrito and then we don't pay $3, right? And then uh, you have some uh, marketplace channels like Amazon. What is another marketplace channel apart of my Amazon? Because there is another one. Do you remember? AliExpress, eBay, eBay, AliExpress now coming from China, right? That is uh, something new for us in El Salvador, getting things from China. I remember once we were in the fair and I was like, hey, how can I get things from China? And they told me, how many, how many ton, tons do you want? I was like, oh, I want only two pounds. I was looking for wire to make flowers. And they said, I want only two pounds. I said, no, 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 we, we sell tons and we can send them to you from China. What is your location? It's like, my God, no. Okay, but they were selling just big amounts, just to big companies. But now, whoever can get something from China, right? And that is part of the marketplace channels that we're having. Now, promotion. What is promotion? Who wants to read it? Promotion, volunteer victim. Yes, Jenny. Who's the teacher? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Promotion means spreading information about the product, service, or issue. Promotion as a part of marketing that means spreading information about a product, product line brand or company. Promotion includes publicity and public relations, advertising. Mm -hmm. When we spread information of a product, we can use whatever. <coughs> In the past, you will have a lot of people standing in the street, right? Flyers. And you were like, okay, what happened with a flyer is that people receive it. If you're lucky, they see it and then they drop it. If they are really interested or they think a friend or a family member can be interested, they, they keep it, right? But most of the time, people receive a flyer and then you will see flyers everywhere. There are still companies there are companies that still use flyers, for example, pizza, Burger King, still using flyers. So all those uh, fast food restaurants that are in the malls, they are still giving flyers at the entrance of the malls. But, but uh, some, some restaurants use coupons, but because the, the, the people don't drop it the flyers. Uh -huh, exactly. For example, Burger King, right? They give you a, a piece of paper that has some, uh, the sales of a specific month. So if you say, I want a pastelito, it will cost me only 50 cents if I have this. Then people get yeah, discount too. Of course, you get discounts. Okay, and that's part of the spreading information. But spreading can be also in the social media, right? On television, you know, everywhere. It's a way of get, making people know about your product. And of course, that's part of publicity. A public relationships, how does your company it gets different relations with different other companies and the advertising, right? But that spreading information includes all the things related to the product, like the line, right? If 
if your product is not alone, you have three, four products if they are part of a product line, uh, the brand or the whole company, right? So that is promotion. And then we have the product placement. Who wants to help me read the product placement? Volunteer. No, no, se mos. Oh, el. Y a nosotros se nos olvida que hay que pasar a tenas. Vaya, Adriana María. Present teacher. Nice. Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. No hay Ana otra vez. Es los. Sí. Eh, Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. Eddie. No volvió a perder Eddie. David. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer, Elmer. Hemos perdido a Elmer también. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Felix. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Por ahí estaba, ¿verdad? Grace, Grace. No. no, I remember. But no, 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 no. Okay. Um, Yvonne Marcela, Yvonne, Jennifer, okay. Jose Alberto, Jose Alberto. No. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Lorena. Present teacher. Mario. Mario. Here, here. Mario, me duerme. No vi a Solim. No vi a Solim. Present teacher. Y el Cristina la llamé, me la salté. No, teacher. I, I, I said present. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Rebecca. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. Victor. Claudia. Present teacher. Mauricio Emilio. Present teacher. Present teacher. Eh, nice, nice. Pacha. ¿Y por qué Mauricio está acostado? <ríe> de repente aparece así de lado. Vaya, vamos a ver quiénes están, que no me dijeron. Sí. Vaya. Let's go back. Let's go back. Uh -huh. What is product placement? Who wants to read? Also know hmm? as in embedded marketing. marketing. It's a marketing technique where reference to a specific brand or products are incorporated into another work, such as a film or television program with a specific promotional intent. Mm -hmm. Have you seen movies where you say, ah, Pepsi Cola is playing the movie? Because they, the they, they actors, well, usually, if a product is not paying, they cover, right? that if the product is paying, that is part of the, what we know as embedded marketing, that program. The, 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 the most normal teacher uh -huh. in the movies uh, is the cars, the brand of the cars. Aha. Uh -huh. They yes. are driving, for example, Ford. Mm -hmm. The Ashton Martin, right, in James Bond. 
Uh -huh. That is part of that product placement. They put it embedded in a movie. And you see that car, if you have the money, you say, hey, I like that car. And it runs very fast, right? But it's part of the promotional intent. Okay. You see that in the movie, all the movie, and then you, you, you know, right? And you say, ay, yo quiero comer pizza. Because in all the movie, you saw the people were ordering pizza all the time, right? And that is a very common thing. That's part of embedded market. You see in all the movie or in a film or in a, in a program. But that is, that product is incorporated in the movie or in the program. What about promotion? I will read. Okay. Promotion refers to the entire set of activities which communicate the product, brand, or service to the users. The idea is to make people aware, attract, and in, induce. In is is right? Mm -hmm. Induce to buy the product in preference over others. Sometimes discounts or offers are given a promotional strategy. Exactly. So, what is promotion? All those activities that you do, right? As that set of activities that you do with the purpose of promoting the product or checking that the product is sold, right? So how do you communicate to people about the brand or service, right? And the idea is to attract people, to make them aware that the product exists and to make them have a preference over the product. So they, so they don't go and choose another one. And you know one thing, the father prefers a product or the mother and they pass it to the children and the children and the children and they go from generation to generation passing that preference for a specific product, right? But what makes that on the people are the promotions, right? How do you promote your product? It's not just I'm going to give you a cup if you buy my beans. No, but it's how I sell the product. How I tell people or make people know that my product exists and that it's the best, right? Okay, let's see here. We have some other definitions. What is a promotional, a promotional strategy? Let's see, Elsa, Christina, can you help me read? A promotion strategy. We already said what is promotion, right? Let's see. Okay. A promotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, yeah, beginning. Okay. Uh, a promotion strategy is defined by the plan and tac tactics. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Okay. And tactics you implement implement in your marketing plan to increase your product or service demand. Promotional strategies play a bit, uh, play a bit, a vital, a vital mm -hmm. role in the marketing mix product mix product product. Sorry, remember uh, the marketing mix, right? The marketing mix was product price placement and promotion. The four P. Exactly. Uh, product price placement and promotion and they revolve around 
Revolt means. Eh, when you say revolotear, right? <laughs> mix. All around all these aspects. Remember, the promotion is a plan, right? That promotion is strategy. It's a plan. It's a tactic. It's a strategy that you use with the purpose of increasing the sale or the demand of your product, right? You use different promotional strategies. Now we're not talking about only about making advertising, but what other strategies do you use? We're talking about promotional strategies like, okay, um, Mondays, Pupusas al 3 por 1, Mondays. O al 3 por 1, mucho. Al, okay. Uh, we won't charge you with the shipping. So we will, the delivery will be free on Mondays. Because Monday, people don't eat pupusas because they eat pupusas on Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Then on Mondays, we're going to give delivery free. Then people say, hey, look, I got a promotion. It says that they are not charging delivery today. Or oh, you get another promotion like the pupusas are half the price. Or they have a 30% discount. Then that is part of a strategy, right? And, the beta, and that includes the vital role of this the marketing mix, but you want to make people get a demand. So they want a demand on your product. And it, uh, they revolve around the target audience, who you are selling to, who are the people who eat pupusas on Monday? Probably somebody that feels tired every single Monday and she doesn't want to cook, right? The target audience, the budget, how much you're willing to invest in a promotion, right? And how much do you think people will want to spend in your product too? So if that promotion of giving a discount of the delivery will not affect my budget so much and I can increase my sales on Monday, I can do it, right? The plan of action or what a strategy you're adopting to reach your objectives. So what a strategies will you do in order to, to sell, right? Because the objective of every company is to make money, to make profit, not to make friends. It's to make a profit, right? That's the objective of a business. And also the promotion strategy is part of the bigger picture, which is the marketing strategy, right? And the marketing strategy refers to the strategic plan and long-term action. So I want to have, okay, I want to make my profit. I want my company to grow. So I'm following my goals but not just for six months, I'm looking farther, right? The purpose is to get something for the future. And that's the idea, right? Of this marketing plan, this marketing promotion. Now check uh, some examples of promotional strategies that you may have. You have the content marketing, the social media marketing, email marketing. Have you noticed that in your email you receive announcements? I receive from Pharmacia San Nicolas, Open English. I want to ask them if they can, if they want to give me a job as a teacher. <laughs> because I'm getting commercials, right? Or announcements from Open English. A price mark and some other companies that sell different products, right? In your email, referral marketing, even event sponsoring, influencer marketing, 
a friend was telling us she has a mini business, right? She sells different things. And an influencer brought to the, to the mini business they have saying that, that she can promote their product. But she was asking for so many things, right? So, but the influencers are a good way of promoting your product, especially if they have a lot of followers, right? And if you have the capacity of selling big quantities everywhere, it doesn't matter if it is out of the country, you can use an influencer. Promotions, we already were talking about promotions. Offering refunds, if you don't like, have you heard that? If you're not happy with the results of the product, we give you a phone, right? So that's part of, of the promotion strategy. Of course, at the end, if your product is good, people will be happy, right, with your product and you won't have to give a refund, but you're offering people that they will get a refund. Customer loyalty programs, okay? If you are loyal, if, uh, for example, set a gas, you call, you get a gas, you get a, a gas tank, and uh, you are accumulating points, and at the end you can go get something, right? And now pharmacies, and there are many stores also that are creating programs like that. Every time you come and buy, we give you a stamp. At the end, you have 10 stamps, we will give you a subway free, right? So that is part of this loyalty program. So people feel like you, they are important for the company. They won't go with another company if you have these programs. But that is part of promotion strategies, right? Now, you will be, a, you will have to work a little bit and think about a company or companies in El Salvador and check. If you go to your manual on page 21, it says choose a new national product or service and identify its product and price strategy components. We were already talking about the components and we have some others here like cake. Using for examples, using split comma, a promotions. Remember, this is strategic product and price a components include all related to product, to price, to place that we have been talking about. Okay, I'm going to send you now. We, yeah, we are just some time to send you to the group so you can go and think about a company or a product that is renowned in El Salvador so everybody knows it, right? And how you can relate those promotion strategies that they are making to the price that they are offering to people. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We were in groups of... Hmm. I can send you with the same group today, just today, right? There you go. Let's go. Join the group. If you feel alone, call me. Try to join. Join, join, join.
this. But I'm not sure. I guess that we need to select maybe number A. It's an email marketing, for example, but I'm not sure. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> Remember, you're choosing a, a company that is very famous in El Salvador. Mm. And then you tell me, you identify, right? The, it's product and price strategy components that they have. Um, okay. What is the relation that they have between the product and the price? And okay. the components. Okay. Page 21 in your manual, right? Uh, Teacher, using the question, how will you distribute your product? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no. No, no. Think about it. Okay, first. Uh, number what, eight. See, first you have to identify the product, right? Or, or uh -huh, product. And then you see what is the price strategy that they have. Identify the product and the price strategy components that they have. Okay. Okay. A national product that is important is other. What could it be? It will be Tigo, for example. Mm -hmm. National. National. For your company? Teacher, no. okay. National uh -huh. is, is for Guatemala. Porque piensa que aunque no sea nacional, pero se opera en el país. Yeah, it's okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Okay, for Campero. Osho Campero, could be. Um, try strategy confidence. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay. Ay, qué barbaridad con este Zoom ingrato. Un segundo. Remember all the strategies that we were talking about, right? Oh, yes. uh -huh. Here. So uh, an example of uh, distribution of the product that a player compare has, maybe is that the <coughs> so they have uh a lot of promotion that you can choose uh um like uh how maybe you would choose uh fry fry fried potatoes uh burger with 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 fried chicken with uh in yeah. Hi. The price is rated. Hi, teacher. 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 Hi, Okay. Uh, uh, which can we choose? The beverage Coca Cola. I think. Ah, yes, Cinemark. 
Yes. They have many price strategies. Okay. They have a Wednesdays of two by one. Two for one. Two for one. Two for one. And they have ten a ten percent of discount. No. No. Two per two per one two for Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, I guess. Mm -hmm. With the I have a pay card. Really? Yep. Mm -hmm. Which uh, one? Any any card. Creo que es la de crecer. Okay. La confía. Yo tengo. Yo tengo confía, pues sí. Pero sí tienen dos días al dos por uno que no son miércoles y domingos. Confía. Con confía. Uh -huh. Con crecer no sé, pero con confía sí sé porque yo la tengo. Really? Uh -huh. Entonces, that, that one know. is a one, a one <laughs> price strategy. I, I have confía. Uh, the barrels, the, the barrels of water. Alina uh, made in como agarraderas en en los garrafones. And I see that using a quick if you want an example. Okay, they they have products for temporada. Season. Season. Uh -huh. I remember on vacation, mm -hmm. Semana Santa, on the holiday. They have brother shrimp. Shrimp. <gasps> shrimp. Salsa mango picante o mango picostón. I, I remember when I was young that uh, one of the things <coughs> they had, they was uh, selling uh, three different toys, uh, different cartes that they have. Uh, I don't remember the day, but it was uh, a man, a chicken man, and a woman. And they was the master. Mass brand the, of the company. It was the it, that it was the the chicken that is right now, but uh, in the form of mm -hmm. in the menu in este in they have okay. RG content marketing is a A B C D uh -huh. the number D blog post infographics podcast mm -hmm. videos pain is the event sponsoring and the content marketing. And last one is the A, B, C, D, E. Yes, one. Hi, hi. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, <laughs> I was silent. Okay, let's come back.
Mm -hmm. Who will be my first volunteer? I know you're ready, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Who will be my first volunteer? Yes, yes. Senorita Ana, you have been very quiet today. Ana, hello. Okay. Rosy, Rosy, you will be my volunteer. You and your group, right? <laughs> okay, tell me. What company, what national product or service did you choose? Teacher, usted me escucha, ¿verdad? <laughs> Why, you said I want to. I want to talk. <laughs> okay, uh, we talk about Pollo Campero. Okay. Uh, they are a strategy, have a personal app, and they have promotion in different days. Um, they have promotion in the platform mm -hmm. and WhatsApp, WhatsApp too. Okay. And Mario, help me please. Um, something else that, that we can talk about uh, the strategy that they have is to sell uh, different products like a uh, uh, fried eggs, uh, chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken, uh, burger, pizza, uh, many different foods. And uh, something in addition is to they they give a uh, give you a uh, many sometimes a uh, different things for free. For example, if you buy a uh, pudding. You will get a uh, coffee for, for free. Oh, that's nice. Because you can get something extra, right? And people are always looking for something like that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Eh, Rosy, now you will have the right to choose. Um... David. David. ¿Qué vas a ver, Rosy? <laughs> Mañana me la desquite. In English, please. I don't understand. <laughs> Revenge. Tengo en la mira. Revenge is it. Oh, okay, teacher. Um, in this case, in, in, in our case, with Nubia is uh, is the answer to the, the three question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the, the what is the problem for, for the exercise is the find the is the is the match the yeah yeah i know you did this one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we will check it tomorrow because of the time okay. Mm -hmm. okay can you think of a national product or service um it's very famous here in el salvador and the relation they have between the product and the price. Mr. Donut, teacher. Uh -huh. Maybe Mr. Donut, yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Nadia. The strategy is in the month of September. Mm -hmm. The product two. Two per one. Mm -hmm. Two per one. Mm -hmm. That's every September, right? And yes. if people don't go to Mr. Donald during the year, September gets really crowded. A ver, 
How many donuts did you eat September? How many donuts did you eat? One. I only eat one. Only one. Three. Three donuts. Three donuts. Three or two. I lost the two. Okay. I have a friend who eats one. It was camp. The last year we were at school in September was 2019, right? That month she ate one donut every single day during the whole month of September. So imagine she ate. Okay, 30, 31 donuts. Well, no, including Sunday, no, right? Because she was not at school. But in my she, she ate about 20 donuts in a month. That's too much. Okay. I, More sugar. Yeah. That's I crazy. Two, two halves. And I don't say one because I ate them in different occasions. So one half half of one and half of another one another day not even the complete one because that's too much the doctor will say no I, <laughs> okay Rebecca tell me Well, with my group, choose Cinemark. Okay. Cinemark. Cinemark. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am um, Cinemark have a different alliance, alliances, alliance with different company, for example, um, any bank or FPS, and with the with they launch different promotion, for example, a two for one Sunday with a specific creator and different promotion with a food with on food and for example, they have uh, now one promotion for everything. Uh, this promotion about the thirty percent discount of for two purchase to big beverages. Oh, cheaper than usual, I imagine. Yes. Okay. Great. 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 Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca, choose the next one. And um, Elsa Cristina. Elsa Cristina. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, sometimes uh, crystal water. Okay. Uh, they have uh, a strategy for uh, gasoline for for gasoline store. Uh, they put in because uh, many people uh, need to buy in in when when they are driving and they need uh, immediately take uh, to take water and in the um, supermarket is uh, is far away and uh, they the the water in the gasoline store is more expensive uh, than the supermarket uh, but many people buy it and that is an strategy for uh, selling the products mm, i think <laughs> yes because they put the product where people are right okay very good thank you i need one more volunteer okay. teacher in, in in addition all of that uh -huh. i i am in the same group that uh, elsa yeah uh, our crystal uh, had 
many, many, many varieties of their product. For example, they have a, a little bottle, Different a big bottle, a gallon, mm -hmm. and um, ¿cómo se llama la más grande? ¿Cómo podríamos decir para la más grande? El botellón, <laughs> a big bottle. <laughs> What I say? <laughs> a big bottle. Yeah. The, the big bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have different presentations, right? So you can choose the uh, variety that you need in the moment. The most convenient, right? The most convenient. Yeah. Excellent. One last volunteer. The last one, the last one, the last one, the last one. Oh, ya me dijeron todo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Vámonos, pues. Okay, let's see. <laughs> That's the, those are the magic words you're waiting for, right? Let's go. Okay, vamos a ver. Today is... Tuesday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dios mío, ¿qué fecha estamos? <laughs> Is this class 10 or 11? Mm -hmm. Okay. Vaya. Sí, a Eddy le toca. ¿Verdad? No, I won't. Okay, Adriana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Ana. Ana. I saw Ana. Ahí está, pero no tiene audio. ¿Verdad? Ah, pues sí. No, no me la imaginé yo. Okay. Eh, Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present. Félix Enrique. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace, Ivo Marcela, Jennifer, José Alberto, José Alfredo, Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Lorena. Mario. Ya fueron todos. Antonio Zulema. I'm here, Mario, Mario. No, present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Claudia. Present teacher. Mauricio. Mauricio, hello. I have Good one. night, teacher. Good night. Okay, I have a question. I saw, I saw, so sorry, but I was in, in class, so I couldn't, I couldn't enter to the platform in that moment. Uh, I saw you were asking questions about one activity. What number was it? Oh, in the, in the, the platform. platform. Mm -hmm. 2.11. Yeah, Ay, ese es un periquito o es un gecko? <laughs> Un gecko. Yeah, better, better. 
Yeah. Dando el besito de las buenas noches. Ajá, ajá. Como en saber, 2011. 2.11. A ver, what, what, what was the problem? In the second part? In, in the part that we need to fill. The second part. Yeah, when, when fill, uh, put wrong. Uh -huh. And especially in the two and in the four. Okay. Number two and number four, our products. It says complete okay. sentences using the information in parentheses and and no. Ah, this is similar to the exercise we were doing yesterday, right? Our yeah. offer enough features and benefits. Yeah. Dice, pero al, algunos compañeros les dio buenas, por ejemplo, la primera al ponerla completa, es decir, omitiendo que solo hay que rellenar. Y Ajá. si la pone solo el pedazo que necesita rellenar, la pone por mala. Ah. If you write the whole sentence, it's not good. Yes, not good. Are you adding? A mí sí me dio bien. Sí, right. puse toda la, la oración y me salió bien, pero solo las la primeras. Mm. Ok. One question. Are you adding yes to the verb? In the case of the third person, like in number one, the place is the price, the place is strategy. I know me, you and I was in length to a Lia. La primera la tengo bien. Ahí okay. mandé una captura. So Solo tengo un problema con, con la dos y la cuatro, igual al. A este al. ¿Cómo se llama? The marketing department has been created. Jose Alberto mandó también and of interest. Okay. Vamos a ver. Our products offer enough issues and benefits. Offer great features and benefits. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, our products offer great. But the thing is this, that they have added the word great to number two that is not in the option, right? So our products offer enough great features and benefits. Is our product offers and no, no great? No, no, no. Offer. Pero es que, uh -huh. Offer. Uh, our products offer. You're putting S. Sí, hay un error ahí. Lo voy a reportar. Porque lo que han hecho es ponerle este great en vez de en vez de en vez de no. Y las instrucciones dicen que se ocupe en off. Entonces no, no, no pongo en off. Solo pongo great. Lo voy a reportar. Porque ajá. Mejor ponemos great y ya está. Sí, si se pone okay. great, sí, es correcto. Exacto. Uh -huh. Next. Teacher, but... Se supone entonces que necesitamos poner todo y no solo fill como se suponía. No, pueden poner solamente eh, la parte que falta. Para... Algunos, algunos no los agarra así, parece. Que a mí me agarra todo. Si pongo solo la parte, no me sale. A, esta, a eso iba. Es, es, eso sí sería de reportarlo y que se corrió. Sí, es que, es que ahí está, hay error en los dos. Lo dos voy a reportar. Vamos a ver, debería de ser of official and benefits. La regalan las que pusieron great. 
Cabal. Why you do this, teacher? <risa> teacher. Hola. Pero en la respuesta que él puso de our products offers, está bien con ese al final. Porque ahí aparece con offer nada más. No, tendría que ser offer. Y, y no puede ser offers porque okay. es our products. O sea, es plural, ¿verdad? Como si el, si el subject va plural, el verbo tendría que ser plural también. Our products offer. Ok, yo sí puse, puse our products offer great, great teachers and benefits. Sí, you no. Know. Ajá, ajá, pues sí, pues sí, pero si en las opciones no le dan great, no tendría que ser esa la opción correcta, entonces creo que lo estoy reportando. ¿Y la número cuatro? La número cuatro sí está buena. The Solo... marketing department hasn't... Me parece grón. Hasn, ¿qué ha puesto? Has in create a note interest. Es que acuérdese que si está usando el present perfect, ¿cómo tiene que ir el verbo? Create. 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 Hace que me quiero con 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 mi con ti a ti, porque está en past participle. Has in create. Son les atojeran, ¿verdad? Yes. Para mí, sí. De ahí creo que al José Alberto había puesto más, pero no sé, no está, creo. Uh -huh. No, no está José Alberto. Vamos a ver qué había puesto José Alberto. No, esas mismas había puesto. El marketing department has un... Ajá. Sí. Y hasta esa tarea tenemos que entregar ahora. Sí, hasta esa llega el muy. Aquí tiene, Tisha. Ahí está. Sí, porque hoy estamos. Ajá. Tisha, y no era hasta terminar la unidad dos. No, todavía no, porque como la unidad 2 está larga, ¿verdad? Entonces la unidad 2 se alarga hasta la otra semana. Ajá, no era hasta ahí que íbamos a entregar las tareas. Si la logran terminar, terminen, la verdad, no hay problema. No, o sea, hasta la otra semana. <ríe> sí. sí, sí, en la otra semana yo recojo las notas completas de la unidad 2. Entonces hoy llegamos ah. ahí. Ajá. Ok. The department hasn't created enough interest. Sí, cabal, sí, Félix. Uh -huh. Hasn't created. Sí, hoy que nos quedamos hasta ahí, hasta la, hasta la 2.11, porque ya la podemos hacer, ya vimos. Lo malo siempre. ¿No? Así como lo, se lo mandé, lo he puesto y no me, no me lo acepta. Uh -huh. Lo que no te acepta es el apóstrofe, copialo de arriba. A mí, a mí sí, solo. Ah, no, solo... No, no, es que sabe qué pasa. Solo ponga created enough interest. Ok. No ponga toda la oración, solo created. Pero siempre, siempre pongo mayúscula, ¿verdad? En la primera. No, 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 no porque está completando una oración. Entonces no le pone mayúscula. De marketing department hacen. Pero como eso ya está, solo pone created enough interest. Ok, sí, hoy sí. ¿Verdad? Vamos. Ok, bueno. Have a nice night. And see you tomorrow. Ok, bye. Bye. Good night. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Dice. Hola. Present, porque no, no dije a tiempo present. <laughs> <laughs>
<risa> ya le va a poner el present, Carly. Thank you, me. <risa> Gracias. Y Ana, ¿dónde andaba? Ahí está ya. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Okay, see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.